Have you ever heard of Bacon numbers? A few years ago, there was a big craze based around Kevin Bacon and how any actor can be linked to him with only a few degrees of separation. This was a fun little thing for a while, but it's kind of a big deal, if only for what it represents. The Bacon number system works as follows. Say you want to link Harrison Ford to Kevin Bacon. You can see that Harrison Ford was in Air Force One with Gary Oldman, who was in Criminal Law with Kevin Bacon. This means Harrison Ford has a Bacon number of two, because there are two degrees of separation. But I bet you're sitting there wondering, what has this got to do with Doctor Who? Most actors have a so-called Bacon number of around two. This is the exact same with Doctor Who. With almost any actor, you can narrow things down to about two degrees of separation to a Doctor Who actor. I set out on a bit of a journey to try and prove this thesis. I went around to a bunch of my friends and asked them each for five random actors. In most cases, I was able to find at least three different movies for each actor that also starred a Doctor Who actor, so it isn't always a fluke. Let's look at some quick examples. One of my friends suggested John Bernthal of Punisher fame. I was able to find that Bernthal was in Widows alongside Daniel Kaluuya, who was in the 2009 Doctor Who episode, Planet of the Dead. How about, uh, Jamie Foxx? Well, he was in the film Ray alongside Warwick Davis, who played Porridge in Nightmare in Silver. I even went and asked an American friend who said Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick was in Trolls with James Corden from The Lodger and Closing Time, and John Cleese, who had a cameo appearance in the Tom Baker serial City of Death. There are plenty more examples, all of whom have multiple films linking back to Doctor Who. British actors are almost guaranteed to be linked back to Doctor Who pretty easily. I found heaps of links for Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley, Tom Hardy and Helena Bonham Carter. This is simply because they have appeared in a lot of British movies, increasing the likelihood of acting alongside people who have been in Doctor Who. For example, Tom Hardy was in Inception with Tallulah Riley, who was in the Series 4 two-parter Silence in the Library and Forest of the Dead. Similarly, Helena Bonham Carter was in Lady Jane alongside both W. Morgan Shepard, who was in the Series 6 episode The Impossible Astronaut, and Ian Hogg, who was in the Season 26 serial Ghost Light. There are many more examples for these actors. I even had to stop looking at Helena Bonham Carter's links because there were too many. Why does this happen? Well, to be honest, you can't really link everyone to a Doctor Who actor. You can't go around and try to link Doctor Who to your mate Gav from The Local because he was a zombie extra in Shaun of the Dead. Well, actually, that's a bad example because you can, but you get what I mean. The hardest to link are non-British actors who only really worked in the first half of the 20th century. For example, I only just managed to scrape direct links for Marlon Brando, despite him being one of the most iconic and celebrated actors of all time. He starred in 1989's A Dry White Season alongside Michael Gambon, who was in A Christmas Carol, and Leonard Maguire, who appeared in the 1980 serial Full Circle. He was also in the film Mutiny on the Bounty with Duncan Lamont, who was in 1974's Death to the Daleks. Unless you count the unreleased Divine Rapture with John Hurt, these are the only two films that link Brando to Doctor Who. So how much harder would it be to link an unknown 50s or 60s American actor to the show? The difficulty of linking 20th century non-British actors to Doctor Who is likely due to two things. Firstly, things were a lot less international before the 70s. In most cases, Americans would be in American films and British people would be in British films. It wasn't exactly like it is now, where you get people crossing over all the time. The other factor is the state of television before the 70s. It is only in recent years that TV has started to be held to the same standard as film. For a lot of people, you were either a television actor or a film actor. There wasn't much of an overlap until the last few decades. And even on top of that, 
Doctor Who was always seen as campy and childish, meaning that respected actors were hard to attract for a long time. It's only really the revived era of Doctor Who that has allowed so many links to be made. The New Who era has had big name guest stars like Michael Gambon, Ian McKellen, John Hurt, Warwick Davis and Derek Jacobi, among many others. This opens the door for a lot more films and actors to link directly to Doctor Who. There are also entire TV shows directly linked to Doctor Who. Game of Thrones, The Inbetweeners, Preacher, Lost, Lucifer and countless others have all featured actors that have appeared in Doctor Who. I think this speaks to the growing globalisation of the media industry. As the world gets more connected, we see more and more variety and diversity in the casting of films and TV. This means that there are many more British actors appearing in American films, increasing the chance of links to Doctor Who. And actually, it isn't just Doctor Who. This diverse casting, along with the staggering amount of films and TV shows in production, means that you can connect almost any actor to any film or TV show with minimal degrees of separation. We're no longer in the days of Bacon numbers being some ridiculous occurrence, because it's now an incredibly common phenomenon. Another reason for this increase in links between actors and Doctor Who is the prominence of cliques and casting circles. A lot of directors and TV showrunners often have what is essentially a list of actors they like to work with. Obviously, the biggest example of this is Quentin Tarantino, who is known to regularly cast the same actors, such as Samuel Jackson, Uma Thurman and Michael Madsen. This has become a subtle trend in films, with a lot of actors appearing in the same films as each other. You get directors like Wes Anderson, who regularly cast Bill Murray and Owen Wilson. There's Edgar Wright with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. There's also the Coen brothers, who cast Steve Buscemi in five of their movies in a row. It's just a case of reliability. If you cast someone and they knocked it out of the park, you're gonna try getting them for another movie, because you know they're good and you can trust them. When these clicks overlap with other clicks, you end up going down an entire rabbit hole of links to films and TV shows. You can link any actor to any movie or TV show if you try hard enough. What is so interesting about Doctor Who is the sheer amount of actors who are within just two degrees of separation from it. I mean, you can even link Doctor Who to animes such as Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Ghost in the Shell and One Piece, all because David Tennant and Maisie Williams were in Genlock with the Japanese voice actor Koichi Yamadera, probably said that wrong, who appeared in all the animes I just listed. The reach of Doctor Who is insane, there's nothing quite like it. Doctor Who has lasted for so long and starred so many people that it just seeps into other elements of culture by mere association. So have a go yourselves. Think of an actor and see if you can trace them back to Doctor Who with only two degrees of separation. Are there any big name actors who simply cannot be linked that easily? See if you can find any, you never know what you'll find along the way.